Father, I just want to thank you. <clears throat> in the midst of COVID-19, as the numbers are still climbing, the statistics are getting higher, sickness is still overwhelming. The medical professionals are exhausted. The death toll is enormous. The nation is in chaos, divided politically, racially, economically. So much going on. It's after midnight and I am grateful. I'm sitting here at my desk. I got my um, essential oils on. Thank you, God, for just little things like that. Thank you that Miss Jean gave me this for my 56th birthday. You told me to read Psalm 91 for 30 days back in August. You comforted me and reassured me, God, and you are faithful. I wanted to do this particular video because the waves are outside. The waves are outside and I was writing some cards of encouragement and I was watching this movie on Amazon called Charmed by Darkness. This guy was being oppressed by Satan and then he met this couple and began to have Bible study with them and God you transformed his life and he became an intercessor and then he said something from First Kings, I think it was First Kings. Where is it? He shared something from First Kings 859. And when I turned to it, see the Holy Spirit is alive and active in me because I'm just looking up a scripture. Next thing you know, I pray almost an hour crying and weeping for your people. Crying and weeping over our sins. And how rebellious and wicked and hard-hearted and greedy and prideful and selfish we are. Just disgusting. Just disgusting. Especially in Nehemiah where Ezra, Ezra prayed. He said, we did terrible things and you were good to us. But when things were going well, your people turned to sin again. And you let the enemies have their way. Then once more you listened to our prayers and gave us mercy. And then again, we wouldn't listen and continue to sin. And then you were patient with us. And we wouldn't listen. You warned us, but we still wouldn't listen. What a gracious and merciful God you are. I just wept and wept and wept. Our sin was so great. You gave us what we deserved. And still they did not worship you in spite of all the wonderful things you did. They refused to turn. I'm getting ready to cry again. It's disgusting. They refused to turn from their wickedness. Now we are slaves among all this abundance. I prayed the prayers of Solomon and Nehemiah and Ezra and Daniel and God, tears, tears, because I hate this flesh. I hate the God of this age. I hate this flesh. I hate that we are sinners and that you gave us Jesus and we are still, still taking advantage of your grace. This is not how the church is supposed to look. It's not. Help us, Lord. We don't need another Bible study, another program, another conference, another event, another forum, another YouTube, another social media, blah, blah, blah. We don't need it. We need to get on our face before God and confess our sins. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, have mercy on us and help us, I pray.